All hey. right, guys, welcome hey. back to episode hey. 97 of Dope Talk TV. It's your truly low key. Got John here with me. Got Jay over here. Got Remy in the back. Aubrey over there. We're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Y'all keeping it. And we fucking appreciate it. All right. So don't forget to do just that. Some of y'all aren't subscribed. Go down, hit the description. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself some merch. Hit that fucking subscription button. Yeah, yeah. And uh, hit the bell. Just hit the bell. Just That's all you got to do before we hit your bell. Bing. That's all. That's all. That's all. How we feeling though, boys? Yeah. How we feeling? How we feeling? I'm feeling great. Right. Feeling good? Feeling good? I'm fucking chilling. I'm high. My dog, Yo, we're, we're, we're lit. We're lit, guys. Mm. We're fucking lit. Excuse <laughs> the, the long pauses and the fucking strange faces because uh, we're fucking lit. All right, and you should be too. So light your blunt, light your J, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, do all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Get your dab rigs ready, get your puff skis ready. Do it all. Whatever on. you do, whatever you do, get get it ready, man. Get your needles ready. Yeah, all that, all that. If all you're that. diabetic and you need your medication, yeah, man, yeah, well, diabetics, get them needles yeah. ready. You I don't know what, what you saying? thought I was talking about. Yeah, people are just uh, minding the gutter, minding, minding the, the, gutter. the fucking gutter. But listen, man. Yes, sir. So Mac Miller trial, right? What's going on with this Mac Miller trial, John? Damn, bro. It's fucked up, man. He's the reason why I'm fucking doing music, man. Mac Miller, bro. I love Mac Miller. Uh, I've been watching him since I was a fucking, since like freshman year, actually. You know, like Nike's on my feet. Round of applause uh, to Mac Miller, for real. He's a legend. He's a legend. You know, uh, Kool-Aid, frozen pizza. You know, Donald Trump. Donald That's when he kind of. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 bro. So like, that's, that's kind of like his first commercial hit. I think that's when he just boomed. You know what I mean? After yeah. that. And but then, he had uh, been working, bro. Yeah, he's been working. He's been working. Uh, even when he passed away, fucking J. Cole was shouting him out during his like his old tour and shit. He's like, yo, like, that's respect. That's what he that's was respect. different, man. Yeah. And 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 he he was a great musician. Like he made great music and he loved it. You could tell he had a passion for it. You know, yeah. and it's different when people do it for money. A lot of cats in the game do it for money, bro. Let's be real. Yeah. And then he's other still. people they do it because they really fucking love it. They said that uh so when they found him, they found him in his California home. Um uh, he said that he was overdosed uh, off of fentanyl, cocaine, mm-hmm. and alcohol. Um, Allegedly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what they found in the system. You know Allegedly, what I mean? that's yeah. what they found in the system. Yeah. So, but, yeah, there's a guy that got caught for yeah, that yeah. shit, right? Yeah, these, there's the actual couple people that got caught, and they're all, they're, they're like, the trial's about to start pretty soon. So, so they're uh, being held responsible for his death, right? Yeah, so, that yeah, that's what they're going to trial for, for the murder of, of, of you know. Well, listen. Yeah. Round of applause. Mac Miller. Round of applause. You know, because at the end of the day, um, I understand people are going to get their their fix however they get their fix. Yeah. You know, if you have an addiction and you want it, you're going to get it. Yeah. But if you know, if you know that there are, there are things in your fucking product that could potentially kill somebody and you still sell it to them and they die. Yeah. You should be kind of held responsible well, for, for that death because you yeah. sold it to him. Yeah. You knew you probably knew about it. You cut it with the shit. Well the thing likely. the thing you is the, the thing is that's really worse about his situation is that they continue to watch him, right? After this after this, right? Because he was a suspect. He wasn't really charged with it yet. And basically what they did was they watched him and he they was watched se- him he was keep se- selling it to, to other people knowing that it killed Mac. Mac. So they already have proof on that. And I was reading that in the article. I was like, "Wow, this guy has balls. He didn't give a fuck." So, so it wasn't, I mean, he's you know, a yeah. hustler, bro. Yeah. He, the guy died. He probably really didn't think that people were gonna come after him. They were yeah. probably just gonna think that Mac had a, a vice and he was a user and he overdosed. Like, do you? But yeah, ultimately, bro, somebody has to be held responsible at exactly. some point. Exactly. At Did, some point. Like, but whose fault is it? Is it Mac's fault for for abusing himself, or is it the the dealer? Everybody has a hand in it. Okay. That's how, that's yeah. my opinion. Yeah, I think my so. My opinion is Mac, bro. He should have he shouldn't have been using like that. He he should have tried to get some help. If he did, you know, we don't know because nobody's close. We're just looking at it from the outside in. No, nobody knows. Yeah, but you know that would have been my suggestion. Try to get some help if somebody around him notices he has a problem. Try to get him help. Yeah. But they probably did. You never know. He's a grown man. He probably did what he wanted to do. And then the other guy, that's where his fault comes in. Like, he was doing what he wanted to do regardless. He probably knew the consequences. And then the other guy, you have a hand in it because you sold it to him, yep. bro. And you fucking probably knew that shit was cut. Yep. You probably yeah. cut it. Yeah. Let's be real, bro. Like, you cut it. You yeah. probably cut it. So... 
<laughs> I don't know if you're, and then you gotta think about it like that too. If you're selling to celebrities, you're selling to Mac Miller, bro. Yeah, that's a millionaire, on, bro. You're selling to other millionaires, so that means you probably got a, a good enough of a plug to where you're getting it close to yeah. pure, yeah. if not pure. So you're you're having your people cut it, or you're cutting it yourself with this shit, and you're try, you're killing people tr- to make a profit, and that's yeah. never cool, bro. That's why I like certain drugs. I understand that people do drugs, adults do drugs, bro. I don't condone it. I don't do anything besides fucking smoke weed and have a few drinks here and there. I did my shit in the past, did my my, my stupid shit in the past when you were a kid, bro. Yeah. But you grow out of that phase and you start realizing it's not worth your life. It's not worth your friends' lives. It's not worth the lifestyle that you end up having, like. It's not That's fucking worth it, bro. It's not worth it. At it's all. not worth it. So, yeah. listen, guys. Round of applause to the tree pushers out there, man. Because the tree pushers, y'all keep the world fucking Same. going around. You keep them sane. You keep them calm. You keep them fucking thinking level-headed. For real, for real. Dead ass. For real. Boy. But, yeah, man. Good sex can change your whole mood, boys. I, I'm a fucking firm believer that you get the right... The right mood, little ambiance with the little fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A little wine bottle, little, you know what I'm saying? Side yeah. piece, little, little pretty joint with the dress on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. With yeah. The, keep the heels on, baby girl. Yeah. You know, you want to get fucking slapped? <laughs> you want to get, you want to get, you want to get slapped, baby? Well, how do you want it? How do you want it? Hey, hey, I'm over here trying to be, be sed- I'm trying to be seductive, bro. This yeah. nigga jumped straight yeah. in. You want to get choked? Hey, look, he bit? didn't. He jumped past the kiss. He jumped past the foreplay. He yeah. went straight to slapping a bitch. Nah, nah. She like no nah, penetration, was- nothing. Just a slap. Nah, you know, girl. <laughs> you know what I noticed? Some most women like pain and sex. Like they like pain a little bit. Bro, nah, yeah, nah, well, yeah, yeah. Listen, like, bro. That's the yeah. only time that is completely acceptable yes. to hit a woman. Yes. Like it's not even like. Like I've slapped of her. Of course, the, uh, if she's into that, if she I, wants yeah, to be of it. course. Like she's like, no, nah, don't do that. Then I'm gonna be John's like, I don't care whether you. Nah, he's like, bitch, you to get slapped again for even talking back. Yeah, like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it was cool. Like when you do different shit, and you're like, wow, like this is actually pretty cool. Like, yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. Like sometimes it's just like, wow, on the way home, like I got in the car, and then like, you know, you know, right after you get some good fucking punani, you know what yeah, I mean? Bro. You fucking get in the car, and you're like. Ah, and I roll up a blunt He's And I just man. drove off Like I started blasting Dolph Dolph And I was just like Yo like I was feeling it And I felt Burn good some rubber Then I pull off Yeah I woke up <laughs> I made a fucking frozen pizza You know what I mean Yo frozen pizzas are the shit And Yeah it was a, It was a good time But nah, I really yeah, feel like, bro, it, like It does it, help It benefits It does help it, yeah. It's literally proven to, to be good for your health You know what I'm saying To yeah. have to have It's good for your health To have decent sex To yeah. have a decent sex life yeah. But yeah, man, fucking, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. What's up with these organ donors and shit, John? Oh, yeah, man. I went to go get my fucking driver's license uh, not too long ago. I went to the DMV. Mm-hmm. Woke up at fucking like 7 in the morning to be there at 8, and there was still a fucking line. I, still, I was still there for about two, three hours. Got you, dumbass. And, uh, yeah, the lady asked me. She was just like, oh, you, you want to be an organ donor? And I was just like, uh, you know what? Nah. You know what? Yeah, nah. you changed it. Yeah, I changed. I might it. change it next time too because yeah. I feel like that's the reason why they let some niggas die. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna Organ do that. Harvesting. And that was the first Trash. thing my mom told me too. Like she kind of joked around about it. She's like, ah, you know, and and then like I was, I was more like, I think I was like 17 when I got it. So I've had that license for seven yeah. years, eight years. You know what I mean? And bro, she told me, and I was just like, nah, whatever. I'm, I'm thinking I'm being a good person, but now that I really grow up and really find out the cold side of the world, you're like, man, you know what, man, I'm actually probably not gonna let you touch my organs. Yeah, and then and the fact that your organs probably aren't gonna help somebody that you think it's gonna help. It's yeah. probably gonna help somebody that's super fucking rich at the top that could just buy five fucking hearts. I forget, there's a guy, yep. one of the one of the richest guys in the world, bro, niggas literally had like six heart transplants. And there's people that wait for years and never get one. Yeah. This niggas had like five. That's crazy. Like, damn, mm-hmm. man. It's uh, sad, bro. It's crazy, but that's just the w- the way the world turns, bro. Yeah. But yeah, no, I agree, bro. It. I might go change my shit next time. I got to update the address um, anyway on my shit. I fucking hate it, it, that, It gets bro. serious, though. Like, I've seen some shit, man. I went to the airport one time, and uh, I was headed to Puerto Rico, actually. I was with my mom. Mm-hmm. This was about five, six years ago. And I'm sitting in line waiting, right? And I, and I see across the terminal. You know how you just sit down, and you can see people going to different, like, planes, whatever. Mm-hmm. And... They're standing in line to go in line, and then I see a fucking cop running with this, like, cooler. And I'm just like, what the fuck is in the cooler, mom? And they're like, oh, that must be organs. 
Like you know, just keeping it alive, like oh, yeah. like yeah, they probably transported. flew in and shit. Like there's the, somebody shit, yeah. yeah, like somebody needed that shit stat. You know what I mean? Like they need that shit asap, and it's just crazy, man. Like the, I, it just made me think. Like I was just like, wow, people, like people, like you don't know whose organ that is, like you know what I mean? Like you don't know like, who it's going to. Yeah, it's like it's crazy. Like the urgency of that of. The cops and, and the urgency of getting onto that plane, like it's just it's I mean, like, oh yeah, shit! It's, a, it's only a certain amount of time before yeah, that shit. You like, can't. It gets it's serious. Fucked, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it you know organ doning. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I used to try to be a good guy. Now I think fuck them. <laughs> all right, I get your own all. organ. Yeah, I need yeah. your own. Organs. Yeah, facts. I'm gonna make Even a will. Death. I'm gonna Even make a death. will, and it's gonna say, okay, only my family can touch my organs. Yeah, no. Nah. But if they don't need them, then just throw them in the fucking I mean, that's trash. That's only if they can. need them. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> or sell them. Do whatever the fuck you need. Yeah, I'm not here f- no more. Nah, but fuck that. I mean, don't, I'm not here. Don't touch my <laughs> organs, man. <laughs> don't even cut me open and take them out. Leave me the fuck alone. Just put me in a casket. Our, and throw me in the ground. We're don't in even a cast. put me in a casket. We're in a cast, anyways. Our soul is what is is, is what mm, you know. Like round of applause for that. John's getting deep, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> John's been getting deep lately, yeah, bro. Yeah. That was real. That yeah. was real shit. Yeah, deep I mean, deep. shit. Deep and deep, I like it. It's the truth. But it's true, bro. Yeah. It, it is only a vessel. Once you're gone, who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My but, soul's gone. But still, fuck you. Don't touch me. Leave my fucking Don't organs alone. Fucking hole. Burn me. <laughs> burn me. <laughs> Now burn me like the fucking Viking. Just set me on a on a fucking little yeah, wood thing and just fucking, fucking put me on fire. So only half my body burns and then the rest fucking just floats around. What if somebody but the people did that? Like they were actually alive still and they just fucking burned them to fucking death and they just fucking. Like, but imagine, think about like, it, nigga. You're on the water, so you're only gonna burn for so long before you fucking put yourself. It puts itself out. Mm. Yeah, it's true. So you're not really getting rid of shit. You're just spreading mad fucking toxins in the water. Dead niggas that are burnt. Ooh. That's nasty. My favorite. Damn, that's yeah, horrible. Yeah, it sounds like a barbecue, right? <laughs> nah, nah, man. That's a fucking person cue. Hey, listen. I'll tell you something. I'll tell Definitely you something work. that's crazy, bro. We were just watching a few music videos, bro. And it's crazy how lighters were replaced by fucking phones, man. Mm. Lighters were replaced by phones. I remember back in the day seeing old footage of old fucking concerts and motherfuckers with the mm, lighters, yeah. you know what I'm saying, <laughs> burning their fucking thumbs off. Yeah. And now it's just a phone. You just put it up um, yeah. with your fucking light out. Put your fucking light on on your fucking phone right now. And then there's like a bazillion lights. Like you look, you're like, damn. damn. <laughs> if people from fucking Mars can see this shit. They might blind a fucking air plane fucking pilot <laughs> nah for real but it's crazy bro like times change man times yeah. change I wonder what it's gonna be like in the next fucking oh, like man. next thing you know go on the dark yeah. fucking contacts put, or something put, your, don't fucking put your fucking neon fucking laser and we're all robots and tap stuff. your chip right now <laughs> <laughs> like fucking power rangers or some shit <laughs> I know. Bro. I'll tell you, what, I'll be at yeah. the house like these young niggas have no idea. They're all about to be fucked. I remember having the flip, the little flip phone. Oh hell yeah! Bro. Remember the minutes, the minutes we used to hey, have. You remember the juke, the oh, little yeah, shit that nine. fucking that flipped like this? Oh yeah. shit! The juke, juke? yeah, the little juke fucking, your yeah, I almost juke the microphone <laughs> right into my fucking mouth. <laughs> no, fuck it. Nah, but I thought fuck. he was doing some gang signs. Nah, know. bro, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck all that. <laughs> Yeah, my dog cripping today on bombing. Hey, yo, bro. On bombing. I'm looking today. like an OG from San Andreas. My dog looking like a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like he's straight from St. Troy. <laughs> nah, for real. Yo, that was a good game. That was a good game. Yeah, that was. It was almost better than GTA. Whoa. Is this guy claim. serious? Yeah, that's a hard claim. Nah, it was a good game, but I don't know. GTA kind of like Change shits on game. it. GTA was <laughs> GTA was the, the the first to do it. GTA I remember when GTA go. came out on the PlayStation Two, bro. I bought the PlayStation Two when it first came out, and that was the game. Liberty I bought City, it bro. Those games used to be so good. When it was started on the highway, remember the car was flipped mm-hmm. over, and you started on yeah. that bridge. I was yeah, I remember that, that day when I came home with that blue box, mm. and then my cousin bought the Red. Xbox, and I'm like, fuck Xbox. Fuck X. Nah, I and like that. And then Xbox changed the controllers. Because remember when the Xbox mm. first came out, the controllers were massive. Yeah, they were, they were weird. Like they you were had comfortable. A, you had to be a fucking like, chimpanzee oh. to be able to play that shit. <laughs> and then they changed them, <laughs> and then I got God. an Xbox, and I never went back. Oh, God, my ass. He did that on purpose. I didn't, oh, I didn't, I didn't touch that yeah. shit. We're talking about the Xbox. My dog said he didn't Fuck touch Fuck Xbox. Nah, hey, man. 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 Hey, man. Nah, bro, that shit happened to me a couple times. I, I, I was like, damn, got mine, but 
It's all good, bro. Nah, it's listen, bro. I like PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the prices to go down so I could get a PlayStation 5 just because it's like, I'm going to keep my PS4, though, too, just for, like, lineage. I'm going to bring it on 20 years and sell it for, like, 10 bands. Yeah, that's but true. I mean, you put, you put a brand new hard drive in there, too. Yeah, bro, that, that shit's running smooth now. I like it. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I do want the PS5 just because there's going to be new games coming out only for PS5 and shit. And it's like, nigga. That's how they get you. Yeah, yeah. like, that. that is how they get you because yeah. I want that new Battlefield, guys. Yeah. If you haven't seen the new Battlefield, go look it up. I'm not going to get into it. But it's a, it, it looks like baby. a really good game. And it looks like it's going to, you know, it's going to give uh, Warzone a run for its money for a little bit. Never. He said never. <laughs> No, I haven't been on in a while. Sorry, guys. I like Xbox, man. I've just been an Xbox guy, but I used to like I used to have the PlayStation too, and <laughs> I love Tony both, Hawk and, and, yeah. and you know Spyro, and that's how I started into gaming. Oh, I need to get that new Tony Hawk game, bro. Yeah. What? It com- they have a new Tony Hawk game, and yeah. it comes with the old one too. What? Yeah, bro, Tony Hawk was my shit. So Tony it's the Hawk new one with the yeah, mm-hmm. it's the new one with the new graphics and yeah. shit like need that, for speed. and then the old one. Oh, Remember Need for Speed Remember Underground, Underground. Yeah. Midnight, Midnight Club, Club. Yeah. Midnight Club. Midnight Club, double edition, Club, double edition. Double edition. nigga. You you haven't lived till you play Midnight. No, I'll go play real. that shit right now. I was on the motorcycle. Yeah, I was wild. I was on that fucking uh, underground. Yeah, Need for Speed like Underground. Yeah, get low, 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 get low to the window. Get low, get low, to the window. I would only be showing off my cars like they were real. I'd yeah, like, no, I'd be like, yo, you want to see the eclipse, nigga? You yeah, ain't got this eclipse. color right here, bitch. <laughs> you haven't oh, unlocked this color, color right here, bitch. Facts. You see this motherfucking uh, paint job? You see them real? shit. Hey, look, yeah. look at this V Tech. Yeah, I used, to do the, I used to do the cheat code. And I had, I used to go to fucking. You remember the books, uh, the book fucking fair? Yeah, and they used to have like special cheat codes. That's game how they got my ass. Remember game charts? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that shit? <laughs> You remember that shit? Come on, bro. <laughs> but I'm trying to walk out with a book and then <laughs> Yo, I would be pissed because my mom to put it back. My mom couldn't afford. <laughs> yo, Jay, my mom couldn't afford to fucking give me money sometimes, you know? Sometimes, yeah. nigga. I never got no money at no book fair. Mom's nah. like, nigga. <laughs> they had all racers. Y'all got and computers, shit. right? No. I didn't give a fuck about the book fair. No, nah, I, I didn't care either, bro. I, didn't, oh, I wasn't did? a reader then. I wasn't a reader you then. Need- Damn, I was. I, I guess. started reading when I was like older, like after high. Yeah, it's man. weird. Like I started reading when I became an adult, and you I too. like. But when I was in school, I didn't give a I fuck about that shit. Nigga. Nah, like, did you read the first chapter of whatever book? I'm like, nah, yo. What yeah, what chapter about? You know when they always like called you like, like, yeah. be like all right, go ahead, pick up where he left off, and you're like. I don't even know. Fucking page. You're like five. flipping through five pages, like, oh, wait, uh. number six? Yeah, number, I don't remember. And there bro. I stood. No, next page. Oh. <laughs> Under the. Some <laughs> teachers didn't have time for that shit. They'd be like, yo, bro, like, Get don't, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I already graduated <laughs> high school. <laughs> You remember those two? I don't have to worry about this. You're the one that has to worry about this. I already graduated. When did, they, okay? when did they stop doing the book fair? Was it like. I don't. Th- I think they, they, still, they still do it. They still do it. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, yeah. it's government funding, nigga. That's not gonna stop. Damn. You know the government will find everything to spend money on besides like homeless people and fucking. <laughs> you know what? Like, you know what, what they need to spend money on. You know what? It's not gonna stop. What? Fucking this fucking damn bitch. But this nigga licking on your fucking sack. Nah, he just fucking burned himself with the fucking. Damn. My dog burnt him. He put his fucking. What's your problem? Jail bro? on his forehead. Bad. No, I just burnt my dog's face. You're but anyways, hey man, you know what's not gonna stop though? Wow. This me. fucking mic falling, but holy hey, shit, I'll tell you <laughs> the struggle's nah, real. Nah, man, the guys. fucking nah, the bro. Mic. Listen, Get guys, down, bro. I know we've talked about Fuck. fucking yo, Remy. I'm I'm gonna beat your ass. I know we've talked about what loyalty a, a few times on this podcast, right? Yeah, and the way we view loyalty, you know, is probably different than the way a lot of other people view it. We view it the right way, right? So, for example. If I have a friend and I know that he's he cheats on his wife, he he doesn't respect her, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't do what he's supposed to do as a man and a husband. Yep. How do you expect Damn. me to trust you, bro? Yeah. Because if you're not fucking upholding what you and your wife stood before vows before God with yeah. and said that you were gonna fucking do this, if you're not upholding that I'm just a dude. Yeah, I'm just a guy. I'm just a, I'm just a friend, bro. <laughs> I don't even yeah. give you hand jobs. Yeah, facts. Like I don't cook for you, nigga. I don't do nothing for you. I don't take care of your family like that. You know, I what mean, I'm I get like, high with you. Yeah, exactly. So it's like you gotta you gotta be mindful of things like that, man. If you know that somebody that's doing that, bro, they most li- most likely would fuck you over too. 
You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Or fuck yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that too. That yeah. too. Yeah, that's kind of, it's just, it's fucked up. You sleep with the person every fucking night. Come on, bro. Like, how, how are you going to yeah, fuck somebody over that you sleep with every fucking night? You started a family with, bro. They ri- they've ridden with you yeah. right or wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you're loyal to me. Supposedly, yeah, exactly. It's mm. like you ain't loyal to your family, nigga. Mm. Yeah, facts. And I never that that's one thing I never really understood about gangs is like, bro, you're loyal more more to a group of niggas that'll turn on you, snitch on you, forget about you when you go to prison. Yeah, beat your ass when they feel like you did something wrong. Like they do all types of shit. You're gonna be more loyal to that than your own kids. Yeah. Your kids, bro. Yeah, facts. like that's crazy to me. That is wild. That's crazy. Like you should, your family should come first. Yeah, that's, you know what I'm yeah. saying. That's why I respect like people that just want to stay single because they're not ready. I respect that, bro. More than somebody 100%. that yeah, more than yeah. somebody that's like, you know what? I'm committed. I had a wedding. I did all this, and then you you sleep with them every night. You start a family, and then you fucking cheat on them. Like, come on, yeah, like, bro. You, you might just, as well just fucking just said fuck it. Like, wear fucking condoms then. Stay single, yeah. man. It, bro, there's yeah. nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being single until you find out what you really want. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. It's too not many just people. Your life, especially if you have kids, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you ruin your kids' life. Then they don't have their mom. They don't have their dad. They're being raised over there. Mm-hmm. They come to your house. It's different. Their resentment. Yeah. You don't know what they're being told behind yeah. your back. Their mom's over there, like your dad's a fucking piece of shit. He didn't love you, not realizing that you she was see a how crazy he left ass us. bitch. You see yeah. how he left us over here? No, man. Exactly. It's right. like, bro, like there's a lot of things that go on, bro, behind behind closed doors, man, and. I don't know, bro. Ultimately, though, like, I feel like if you can't work it out, then get a divorce, man, and be yeah. adults about it. Leave. Don't just start cheating, man. And yeah. like, I feel like I've heard it from both sides. I've heard niggas like, oh, whatever. Like, she doesn't give me what what I need. I've heard it from females where it's like, oh, well, <coughs> well, I've told him he. They just don't get it. They just yeah. don't get it. No, if you get the fuck up and leave, they will get it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. like, like, oh, I don't. I, 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 I told him two times that I don't want to be with him no more, and then I never pursued it, so he should get the picture. And since he didn't, I'm going to go out there and fuck other niggas. Mm. Like, that's wrong, too. Yeah, you know what nah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, both nah. sides is wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you're emotionally through with somebody, don't stay with them for six months after that, and then just like, you know what I'm saying? Just tell yeah. them. Be like, yo, bro, like, I'm not feeling this shit. You know what I'm <laughs> yo, saying? Like, die like, I'm that, not bro. fucking feeling this shit. Everybody's different, right? You know, you know how many people die over that? Like that is true cheated too. On? It's like everyone's yeah. different. You might not care. You might leave, but the next guy might fucking shoot that bitch, yeah. shoot himself, go into Walmart. Exactly. Shoot. Well, that's where you gotta you gotta take accountability into the type of people you choose to have in your life, bro. Yeah. yeah. Because there's certain red flags there that people red ignore. Flags. People ignore. When people ignore in love, the bro. red flag, <laughs> yeah. bro, and they blame it on love. But ultimately, bro, I feel like it's more about insecurity and it's more about just you ignoring shit. Because you don't want to be lonely. You you don't want, you know, you want people around, you know, <laughs> but fuck all that, bro. Yeah. There's certain red flags where you shouldn't ignore and people do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People <laughs> fucking do. But. Not nah, deadass. It's so true. Yeah, bro. It is what it is. But listen, deadass. man, there's a fucking vacuum thief, guys. It's a fucking there's vacuum. a vacuum thief going around, right? Now the boy, take it away. What happened? Oh, shit, bro. I'm sitting at the fucking gas station. I'm just minding my own fucking business. <laughs> Right. Minding my own business, not Florida. minding my business, because I'm, I'm staring at this guy. I'm just fucking sitting here. I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, man, this guy must be a fucking maintenance guy. This guy must be something, man. But nah, he looked kind of raggedy. So I was like, man, this guy looks like a fucking little thief, man. You know what I mean? I'm a little bum. You what know? do you have? What do you have? Nah, he fucking the felines, nah, the, the old felines. He, he, he had some fucking flip flops. Oh, his hair was raggedy. In Florida, he had a fucking dirty polo on. And oh, I, I think like, it was a pool boy. He was a pool boy. Yeah, some shit. I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> but anyways, That's I'm a pool sitting, boy I'm right down at, the street. I can take it through. I'm, I'm sitting at the fucking pump and I see this guy, right? And then fucking he breaks open the fucking thing. I'm like, oh, okay. That's why I thought he was a maintenance guy. Maybe they just hired a fucking little bum, but he knew what he was doing, you know? They have those type of guys, you know? Facts. And, uh, but no, nah, it doesn't make sense because it's a circle case. And, and he looks like a piece of shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> When I see a whole bunch of dust I see a lot of fucking Coins and I'm coins, like bitch. Oh shit What the fuck is going on Fucking grab that bitch Start scraping that bitch up Put that bitch Dusted back Dusted them bitches off And then he just went on with his day I swear He started putting them in his fucking pocket It was a lot of fucking change Like mm-hmm. a lot like a lot. I think it's smart. Hey, look, round of applause to that guy. Yeah, he works like he works smarter, and not harder. I'm sitting here like, 
Wow. He said, look, I never y'all can sit out here and beg for a whole week for a thousand bucks. I'm going to wait a you, week for this fucking shit to accumulate oh, and I'm going to come back it, and get it. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad over here on, on, on this side of town. You know, I see a lot of yeah, fucking bombs. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of homeless people yeah. and stuff, but half of them are homeless. We've had this conversation. I saw a homeless lady that's not homeless. She had a whole ID. She was at the dollar store. He was finessing, though. Like, come hey, on. Hey, bro, look. Hey, you got to do look, what you got to do. I don't agree with certain ways of getting your money, but I was raised to mind my fucking business and, and yeah. to fucking not not get in the way of somebody eating. You don't. You never Facts. get in the way of somebody making a getting their meal, bro. Facts. Straight the fuck up. So do what you do, man. Karma is karma, bro. People might not believe in it, but I'm high. No, karma is fucking karma. My yeah, no, we're it. fucking lady titty. My dog needed titty. to change. I mean, you don't know. It could have been for anything. No, yeah, fuck them all. It is. Get it a is fucking job. If you got enough strength to break open a chain machine, <laughs> you got enough strength to work. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking ass. No, no, fucking piece fuck of shit. No, and my dog took go, all that shit and put it in stocks. He'll go stand <laughs> on the corner and be like, look, uh, he'll be like, disabled vet. Yeah. <laughs> God <Thanks>. bless. You know what I'll do? I'll get the fucking boot. You know the boot for the firefighters at the corner? This motherfucker. <laughs> this guy's a dick, bro. This is why we don't trust him. This is a nah, fucking piece back. of shit over it's here. Fucked up. Hey, like but it. I'll tell you what, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, yep. subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. We've been back with another one. We appreciate y'all, man. Another Go one. down in the description, get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? And uh, listen, Dope Talk family, we appreciate y'all for keeping it. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. All right? Yeah. We love y'all. Peace and love. You okay. giving them something this week, Johnny Boy? Rap, bro. Fucking right, rap. Let's, hear, yo, let's hear it. Yo. Uh, uh, yo. Uh, uh, yo. Uh, yo. 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 I'm out here. I'm trying to get this bitch. Bitch. He's just trying to suck on my dick. I'm like, yo, what up, bitch? All right, now, nah, listen. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, All right, guys. Yeah. Peace and love, baby. Peace and <laughs> love. I'm out here.